I'm Paul. And I'm Shay. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to Bus Life, Life for Me. me. Alright, in today's video we are taking you all through the process of building a shower in our school bus one weekend at a time. And bear with us because this is our first time building a shower ever, much less on a school bus. So this is more or less for inspiration and not so much for instruction. So let's get into it. Alright, that was such a process. Go ahead and lift it up, hon. You can see how we had to trim out a little bit. This lip here is supposed to be flush with your floor, so that's why we had to notch all this out and do all that extra craziness. Shazam! Nice and flush and level. All five infinity stones. Okay. okay so the first step is we're going to clean this off so that our silicone can stick nice and good. All right, step one, it's clean. Step two, let's do it. All right, so this is just silicone caulk. We're told you're supposed to put it an inch away from the edge, so this little little ring around thing. But again, this is our first time doing this, so take everything we say with a grain of salt. All right, so then we just cut an X in the middle. At least we were told that an X works best because then it folds down flat. Punch it, push it through the tarp. Slides right in. So then when you put this piece in here, your little flaps go right down. All right, there we have it. The shower liner is in. As you can see, they're just a little, like almost like you fold a Christmas present. Just two or three little staples up top. Staples all the way. And then we were told that on this side, you don't put any staples in here or here. You wrap them and put them on the outside. All right, y'all, last weekend we left off on the shower liner and this weekend we're picking back up to start the mortar. All right, so before we lay this mortar, since we've never done this before, we decided that we're going to figure out our pitch ahead of time. And basically we did that and now we're just like marking it on the actual shower liner so that when we go to lay the mortar down, we don't have to figure that out. Also, we got recommended to use this sand cement mix. All right, y'all, as you can see, we have got our mortar down. Took a couple hours to get it right, but we got it. So essentially what we were taught is you make sure all your edges are leveled. So we started with straight lines and then you work your way in towards the drain with the flow of water. A quarter inch every foot. Obviously we're doing our shower on a bus, so it's barely even two feet at our longest point. So what you're looking for is you want your bubble all the way in the back, all the way down. Look at that. It looks so good. First timers. Uh, great job. Good job. <laughs> we did the mortar, a little bit of elbow grease, and we're both very dirty now, so we're gonna go shower, and we'll catch you back out here tomorrow. All right, so first of all, we are doing our backer board in the curdy board instead of sheetrock because as you can see it's foam and way way lighter so today we went to lowe's and we got unmodified thin set which we are using specifically with the curdy waterproofing strip to create that seal and then we also grabbed some of the curdy screws and um, little washers which we'll show you guys how we use these but it's specifically for the curdy board. We decided to go with the curdy board because it's so much lighter than traditional sheetrock, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. We suck at YouTube so bad. But I think if you're doing like a van or a bus or anything where you need to be weight conscious, I think the curdy board, even though it's a little bit more expensive, you either pay more for less weight or you pay less for more weight, so. 
these curdy boards are really awesome because they come with these grid lines so it's really really easy to follow your studs and line up uh, exactly how far apart these are supposed to be so you're supposed to put a screw and a washer which these washers come with these little teeth in them so you can just stick them right in there you're supposed to do them every 12 inches I'm trying to conserve a little bit and I'm not terribly worried about doing exactly 12 inches I'm just trying to space them out can no longer film from this angle we have a, uh, a very a very narrow range to film in now. Nice job. I want it to be really snug around that piece. Nice. Fit and snug. Nice. All right, y'all, it is 6 p.m. on a Sunday. We got work tomorrow, so we are headed in. This is where we are stopping for the weekend. We got a large majority of it done. We just still have this little section left to do. So we will pick up where we're leaving off here next weekend. So yesterday we went ahead and finished up the rest of this side. And now we are going to move on to sealing up all the joints and over all the screws. We got the majority of the cracks done with the exception of this last piece here and then just all the screws. All right guys, I failed you on the filming last weekend so we're gonna show you guys how you do these curdy strips because last weekend we were honestly just too focused on figuring out how to do it. The application's relatively straightforward. You want to get your uh, non-modified thin set. Um, Kind of slap it on there like you're buttering up the peanut butter and jelly. Make sure you're you're covering every bit of the underside of that curdy strip. You need to make sure that you have your thin set under every single bit of this curdy strip here. Otherwise it won't stick. You'll see it doesn't stick and it's really, really annoying. And after you lay it on there, you just kind of want to firmly start pressing this out. And it helps if you have a four inch scraper. Do the whole thing at once rather than this, which is a lot more tedious, but still works. So I'm being a little bit extra precautious and I'm going back and buttering over the seams here because that's gonna prevent water from penetrating back behind that. Now it's on to all the screws. We whipped up a fresh batch to do this last strip. And just like everything in the conversion so far, we always seem to get it right on the last piece because this is looking way better, the texture. See how it's much thinner? This is what we were going for the whole time. All right, y'all, happy Sunday. Now that this is all dry, before we aqua guard it, we just came in here with a little sanding sponge and sanded down to some of the rougher spots and vacuumed it all up. And now Paul is getting the aqua guard ready. All right, let's see it. Aquaguard. Have you worked with this before? Uh, I've worked with Red Guard before. It's basically the same stuff, but it's not red. It's blue. Oh, I like it. And Paul has past painting experience, so this is actually what he's good at. So this is our makeshift um, mixer, which is just absolutely terrible. <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of stuff we don't show on the TikTok, so we don't get roasted to high heavens. Finally, the last step of the shower process. Aquagard. Sounds like a Marvel, like superhero. Uh, Aquagard. I have it's, no fear. Aquagard is here. This, uh, you technically don't have to do this if you use curdy board, but we are doing it because we just really want to be extra safe since we have a moving bus. And we are amateurs. And we are amateurs, yes, that, that too. So this is extra precaution. Extra precaution, right. Painting over the seams and on the floor as well. And the only other thing we have left to do is we need to waterproof the bamboo ceiling and then add a little transition piece right here 
so that the water will run down onto the board. But besides that, it's ready to tile, but we are actually not going to tile it yet just because we don't want to let it sit there and get all dirty for months or a year or however long it takes us to finish the rest of the bus. So we'll be moving on to another project and then once the bus is closer to being finished, we will come back and tile everything. Hopefully this video is helpful though if you're trying to build a shower and a school bus. All right. You ready to switch? Yeah. <laughs> yep. You can see Shay painting away, getting in there. You can see she's wearing her mask because it's very fumey in there. That stuff is highly fumey. So we're just trying to keep it, you know, one person at a time in there. It's kind of a tight space anyway, so. We finished all the walls and now we're moving on to the flow. The flow. The flow. From the window to the wall. To the floor. You're supposed to do two coats. So the paint drops off the walls. Okay. You're supposed to do two coats, so we'll probably take a lunch break and then come back and do it again. Yes. Super hot? hot in that shower, huh? <sighs> okay, floor. floor Almost time. done. Floor time. Look at that boy glistening. Like a rotisserie chicken. Like a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> All right, thank you all so much for watching. We appreciate the support. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe and leave a shower emoji down below so we can see who stayed till the end. But we will see you guys next time. Peace. Psst. Follow along for the ride.